Hello friends, the SARS-CoV-2 virus triggered the COVID-19 pandemic. It was a major 21st century global health crisis that badly affected India given its vast population and the state of its healthcare services and systems. Early official reports estimated India's COVID-19 death toll at around 480,000. However, the Registrar General of India's report released in May 2025 based on Civil Registration System or CRS data for 2021 alone indicated more than 2 million deaths compared to pre-pandemic years. This suggests that if we take the entire pandemic period, the total COVID-related death toll approaches 4 to 5 million, that is 40 to 50 lakhs. This figure aligns with the World Health Organization's 2022 excess mortality estimate of 4.7 million COVID-related deaths in India, which the Indian government had initially disputed. So, why did the government disclose the information in 2025, which is vastly different from its earlier claims? In several states, the disparity was striking. Gujarat, for instance, reported 5,809 COVID-19 deaths in 2021. However, the excess mortality was 1,95,406, a difference exceeding 33 times the reported figure. Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and Rajasthan also significantly underreported. Conversely, Kerala's Transparent, accurate reporting often scrutinized for high numbers due to extensive testing and honest data recording stood up. India's low official COVID-19 death count is a result of political, economic, administrative and systemic issues that hide the true number of deaths. Public morale and political stability are often threatened during crisis, prompting governments to downplay their impact. India faced several economic challenges during the COVID-19 crisis. There were prolonged lockdowns, job losses and supply chain disruptions. A significantly higher reported death toll could have triggered public panic, which would have eroded trust in governance and intensified political pressure. According to Dr. K. Srinath Reddy, who was then President of the Public Health Foundation of India or PHFI, India's COVID-19 death toll was perhaps understated due to gaps in data collection, delays in registration and inconsistent death certification practices in different parts of the country. He has stated that the full extent of underreporting cannot be known without detailed epidemiological and demographic analysis. Investor confidence and economic recovery could be further damaged by a higher death toll during the crisis. The government may have sought to project control and normalcy. This helped support economic activities. This is consistent with the global trend of governments underreporting to avoid economic repercussions during not only that COVID-19 pandemic, even other crises. India's growing global influence might have led to worries about international oversight and disapproval. Increased fatalities could have harmed India's reputation and global health influence. The government's rejection of the WHO's 2022 figures as exaggerated and misleading highlights this issue.
although india's death registration system is theoretically strong it has major flaws particularly in rural areas which account for 70% of deaths many deaths especially those at home and without medical care have gone undocumented not only during the crisis even now it's not possible it is not possible for them to get their deaths registered the civil registration system misses a significant number of deaths and this results in under reporting of both covid-19 and other causes of death in the words of epidemiologist prabhat jha india has room for improvement and i think the room is very big and improvement needs a lot the second wave of the pandemic in 2021 overwhelmed india's healthcare system logistical issues meant hospitals and crematoriums were overloaded so many deaths remained undocumented rural areas with their limited access to testing and medical care showed this effect most clearly and telling covid-19 testing was not universal particularly in rural and underserved communities moreover the strict criteria used to classify covid-19 deaths may have missed many cases for example in west bengal covid-19 deaths weren't always recorded as such if comorbidities were involved According to the Hindu 72 of 105 covid-19 deaths were attributed to other conditions the lancet noted inconsistencies stemming from icmr guidelines on suspected or probable covid-19 deaths which were advisory and not mandatory frequent criticism of the government's pandemic handling came from the opposition parties and civil society a higher death toll if acknowledged could have intensified criticism and spurred demands for accountability in gujarat the congress party cited a death toll of at least 55000 for the state a figure considerably greater than official numbers under international health regulations india must report accurate data the government however may have initially favored domestic politics over international transparency pressure to resolve inconsistencies in india's 2022 mortality data rose due to who's criticism although the icmr provided guidelines on recording covid-19 deaths their implementation varied across states to illustrate the official covid-19 count was lowered when delhi ceased testing the diseased individuals in may 2020 a large part of india's population lives in rural areas without access to proper health care or death registration so under reporting of covid-19 fatalities was significant the may 2025 release of the 2021 vital statistics of india report noting almost 2 million excess deaths can be viewed from various perspectives international pressure domestic demands public health needs and changes in the government policy who and other international health organizations insist on accurate data for maintaining global health security india's initial downplaying of its covid-19 death toll drew international criticism this intensified following the who's 2022 estimate of 4.7 million excess deaths the 2025 release of corrected data could be a reaction to 
pressure align India to meet global standards and retain credibility in international health discussions. Judicial actions also contributed. Legal challenges in Indian courts regarding the pandemic possibly promoted the government's release of accurate data. The reports quiet released during the Pahalgam related search in nationalism hints at efforts to lessen domestic political backlash. To effectively understand and respond to future pandemics, accurate mortality data is essential and this goes without saying it. Perhaps the government hoped to bolster public health systems and future crisis response by releasing the corrected data. According to Prashant Mathur, director of the National Center for Disease Informatics and Research, broader death counts confirmed and suspected are needed for improved COVID-19 understanding and management. Not just COVID-19, any other pandemic. Releasing accurate data reveals healthcare gaps and improves death registration. India's 2021 Vital Statistics Report release could signal a government push for transparency. Perhaps this is a result of a revised focus on accurate data or public calls for accountability. The government's 2025 disclosure of underreporting directly contradicts their earlier statements. For example, dismissing WHO estimates as fallacious, indicating a change in policy. So in 2025, the data relating to 2021 was updated. India's position regarding the political and economic fallout from acknowledging the true death toll was expected to improve by 2025. Following the immediate crisis, the government might have believed it was the perfect time to tackle the problem without interfering with the recovery process. The quiet release of the report suggests a strategic plan to control how the public views it, public views the data or the impact of the death toll. The underreporting of COVID-19 deaths in India and the eventual release of corrected data highlight several critical issues. This situation shows we need more transparent and accountable governance especially when dealing with public health crisis. Maintaining public trust requires governments to value accurate data above political convenience. India's healthcare and death registration systems, especially in rural areas, need major upgrades to improve public health infrastructure. Robust systems are vital for effective crisis response, and sustainable health planning. Global health security hinges on the accurate exchange of data between nations. India's pandemic experience shows why following global reporting standards is crucial. Public trust in government has suffered due to the difference between reported and real death tolls. To rebuild trust, we must consistently be transparent and accountable. In short, political and economic pressures, data collection problems, and inconsistent state reporting led to underreporting of COVID-19 deaths in India. International pressure, domestic demands for transparency, and the need for accurate public health planning led to the May 2025 release of corrected data revealing almost 20 lakh excess deaths. Future pandemic management can learn critically from this episode, especially regarding robust data, transparent governance, and a strong public health infrastructure. 
India can strengthen its crisis response and regain public trust by overcoming these challenges. In case you have liked my video, please do like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.